students at Bentley University in Waltham, Mass. In high school, some of the athletic activities he has participated in, in included soccer, track and field, cross country, and snowboarding. Academically, Dominic is a part of the S School Match Wits team and the Life Smarts team. He currently serves as the class treasurer and is a member of the National Honor Society. Dominic donates <coughs> blood regularly at the blood drives and earned this one gallon of blood donated him. Dominic prides himself on his vast community service commitments for the Divine Mercy Parish's Men Hills Club, which included monthly dinners and setting up for the parish picnic. Dominic's most notable award is achieving the rank of Eagle Scouts in the Boy Scouts of America. I am honored to present to you this evening the salutatorian of the class of 2015, Dominic Sictish. Many of us pursue our career paths in college. Behind me is the future of this country. When I say that, I am referring to the future's doctors, lawyers, pharmacists, astrophysicists, actuaries, politicians, and all of those that are required to fill the roles of the future society in order to function. Whether we are ready or not, we will be filling the roles of the people in this democracy. And the direction this country goes will be dictated by us, which may be a scary thought for some of our parents. While this standard education is necessary, I believe there is another kind of education that people tend to forget about. It's a kind of knowledge that has no specific class to teach you, but it is necessary to live an economically and physically healthy life. Like, who out there knows anything about balancing a checkbook? Or what do you do when you fall victim to an identity thief? Why is a credit card much safer to lose than a debit card? Many of us have no clue about what it takes to save for retirement, or what annuities include. There are so many little things that people like us who are venturing off into the real society should know and we are simply never taught. I guess my advice to you all is to then somehow stay curious and stay open to learning about the things that are essential to living sufficiently. Whether it is keeping up to date with media or asking the right questions to the right people when uncertainty hits you. Many of you have been going with the flow for your whole life, and sadly, that will probably have to change soon, requiring you to think beyond the classroom and seek more than just textbook-based knowledge. And eventually, we will be experiencing the hardest punches of life. Many of us will be struggling with midlife crises, divorce, death, 
paying bills on time, potential foreclosures, and battles with other countries. And sadly, we live in a time where the word happiness and money are almost interchangeable. People wake up with the only goal of being happy, and many of those people spend their days for the enjoyment of being paid. But why? Remember, money will never build the bonds of love of people, which all give life a true meaning. In reality, they are just pieces of paper that incinerate and crumble in the flow of time. Therefore, see money as a byproduct of contributing your efforts to your passions, and never let it be the motivation for all that you do. And as this event marks a significant transition from our playful childhoods to a serious adulthood, I believe a little bit of humor and youth is necessary to stay young on the inside. I would like to share a quote from the famous show, The Office, ironically a show I've never seen, which has tremendous meaning to me. And I believe everyone out there will stop for a moment to think about its message. The script states, I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you actually left them. I know that everyone out there has referenced the past as the good old days at least one time in his or her life. And I believe this moment will set aside many other moments as the good old days when people have finally reached the harsh reality that they are finally grown up. <clears throat> it is a truly strange. Everyone desires to grow up quickly, but as fast as they reach adulthood, they wish they could revert to being a carefree child. And we will all fall eventually, a few times, to the burdens that come with being grown up. And we will look at times like we have right now, at this very moment, when life was so simple. I've been waking up every day with the security and support from my parents and all of those that surround me. Most of us have loving parents and friends just a few miles away in the small hometown that I am proud to say is Palmer, Massachusetts. <coughs> My last piece of advice, if you want to call it that, is to tell you all to simply cherish this moment. Even though most of us are legally recognized as adults, times of being this young will never come again in the way we take for granted now. As we prepare to set sail upon the seas of life, we must be wary of the storms on the horizon. We must cherish those who are close to us now. Hold them tightly, because these are the ones that will give us strength to carry on. Just remember, stay curious. The greatest treasures of life lie among the seas less traveled. Thank you.